This panel suggests using the double slit experiment to detect intruders, and it doesn't work, because this experiment is often badly explained. In quantum mechanics, if you want to find out whether something is a particle or a wave, you throw it at a barrier with two slits opposite to a wall. If we do this experiment with waves, they pass through both slits and interfere with one another as they overlap, drawing bright and dark fringes on the wall which look somewhat like a barcode. These are called interference patterns. Patterns. If we try the same experiment with electrons and send them one after the other, we will see individual points hitting the wall because they are particles, or are they? If we let this run longer, we will notice a pattern forming. The electrons aren't actually arriving at random positions, they're actually slowly forming interference fringes just like waves, but electrons are supposed to be particles. To many physicists, this result looks really eerie, since we send the electrons one after another. Another, the result suggests each electron is interfering with itself. If we wanted to verify what is really going on, we would need to put a detector in there, but if we do that, lo and behold, the interference fringes disappear, and we get instead two regular strips like you would expect from particles going through two slits. The reason behind that is something which only happens in quantum mechanics. When you measure an object, you're actually changing its nature. Filming a runner or a bird will not interfere with their performance, but this is isn't the case in quantum mechanics. The moment you place a detector to see which slit the electron goes through, the system will actually change. This is what the double slit experiment shows us. Electrons behave both as particles and waves at the same time. The only way to explain it is as follows. The electron travels as a wave. It passes through both slits simultaneously interfering with itself. But when you try to measure it, this wave collapses to a single point. That point's location isn't random. It appears where the wave's amplitude is highest. If you send billions of electrons, you will see the wave's probability pattern emerge. This is called the Copenhagen interpretation. As for the reason why you can't use such phenomena to detect the presence of someone hiding in the corner and secretly watching, is because when they say observation in quantum mechanics, it doesn't mean humans watching. It means any physical interaction between a particle and a measurement device, which forces a wave to collapse into a single point to be able to interact with the tool. This is purely about physics, not consciousness.